Lord, 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 Hey, but I can't talk. I make that thing work. Hey, 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 This is the remix. I made the remix, and this is it. You stupid. Re in Detroit, y'all. She all in Detroit, living her best life. She ready to go to sleep, cause she just got there today. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here with Kimmy K. I'm sitting here with Kimmy K. <laughs> Get y'all cakes for 2019. I will be posting it down below. And don't play, cause she do be booked. Period. Be booked. With a T. She already booked to March right now. Booked with a T. Period. <laughs> y'all baby shower. You think you might have a baby? Go on, get your cake. Hold on, you hear me read? If you think you might have a baby, you might as well get your cake. If you get, if you think you might be pregnant, get your cake order in, cause we not finna play with you. Exactly. Period. Month, gone, gone. If your period ain't came in two months, you know you pregnant. Go on and get your cake order in, cause it's gonna be get filled up. I'll tell you that now. What up, though, y'all? It's cold. It's raining. Hey, what's going on? So, today is Sunday, my favorite day of the week. Y'all already know that. So I love Sunday. It's a brand new, it's a fresh start. I thought I was going to put my mules on today, but it's cold outside, so I'm about to put my boots on. I got me some little socks. I'm about to put them on. I'm going to put them on when I get to church, actually. Um, but I'm about to go to church. I haven't been to church in a minute, so I'm excited to go. I had to upload the vlog for today. I got up early. I edited the vlog, and then, yeah. I'm gonna go to church. I was trying to debate if I was gonna go to Juicy Crab with Charnel, cause y'all know Charnel is here. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Juicy Crab or not. That's my kombucha. I was drinking it. I was like, I got a kombucha in the refrigerator and I had it in there for a minute, so I was like, let me drink this damn thing. I don't know how long it lasts, but let me drink it. All right, so. I hope y'all are having a good day. Today is Monday, bitch. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hey, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hey, happy Monday. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve, girl. Ain't it Christmas Eve? Tuesday is Christmas, I guess. Uh, it don't it don't feel a, little, a lot like Christmas to me. My sister, Rhea, they all gone to Detroit. I really wanted to go to Detroit, but it's just me and my mom here, so. I'm probably gonna work all Christmas. Like, I, I didn't order my glitters yet. I have like four of them that I actually want. So I'm ordering like in bulk. So it's four of them that I have on my cart. I kinda wanna put one more in there and then I'm going to order them. So Christmas Eve and Christmas, I'm just going to be like focused on um, business shit. I'm really not doing too much. How I wanna market it, how I wanna who I wanna do. I'm just gonna make sure I got all it together. Probably gonna drink some hot chocolate. I'm not doing nothing serious. I wish I was doing something for more like fun or something, but I'm not. So I don't know how that vlog is going to go. I guess I could just show y'all what I'm doing, like what I'm uh, like doing work wise, I guess. Or I don't know. Um it's probably gonna be a part of vlog. Or I might do like a a makeup tutorial for the last day of Vlogmas, or I may go live. No, I may actually film a makeup tutorial. How about that? I'll film a makeup tutorial with my glitters or something. Yeah. Or y'all been asking me like for my hair routine and stuff. So yeah, we might do that. Cause I'm, I'm not doing it on Christmas. I didn't even think about that until now. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this day a fulfill, a fun day. Not a fun day, but I'm gonna try to do a few things. I still need to get some foundation. I didn't even put no makeup on because when I go to church, I be crying most of the time. So what, it don't even make no sense for me to put no makeup. I was gonna do my whole face. I was like, for what, Alexis? Cause if I start crying, it's gonna be like my makeup, my lashes gonna be up. And they ain't gonna be everywhere, but it's gonna be like tears. You know how the tears be coming down. Then you gotta wipe it with the special towel. Now you wiping your makeup off. It's just too much. So I was just like, I just exfoliated my face, put me some lip gloss on and let it be. All right, I'm about to talk to y'all in a minute. I'm about to charge my phone up. I ain't shared with y'all what they talked about at church in a minute. So that's gonna be, yeah, it's been a while. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Y'all, I'm late to church. It is 11.39. Um, 
yesterday it was such a struggle to vlog with this camera bro i was like i don't know how i did this to begin with when i get my camera back i'm gonna do right by it i swear <laughs> you know how you mess up something you'd be like i'm gonna do right by it i swear to god girl it was a struggle it's most of my clips i feel like was too up close it was just i just really didn't like the footage from the museum but if i when i go back with ria i'll try to get better footage hopefully i have my camera body in, and then we can just go with the flow y'all can see well y'all saw everything i just really it's just me because i vlog so much i just know you know i didn't have a bra on y'all so i put on this black shirt underneath here so in case my nipples get hard you can't really see and now it's rising my shirt all up i had to come in the bathroom right quick all right but we about to go to service now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i know when people have that uh thing and they like when you are driving you may not you may know may not know what i'm talking about but when you like driving on the residential street and people have those little like things out and it to be like drive like your like your kids live here girl that shit made me go so slow every time i see those little things it'd be like a little body like cut out then it's a drive like your kids live here that be going two miles per hour <laughs> but that be going fast then i read that i'd be like oh damn let me drive slow let me drive the speed limit or let me even drive you uh slower than the speed limit because i don't want my kids to get hit that's what i be thinking in my head all right so i just got back in the house i'm about to um just chill out until well i'm gonna leave out like 6 45 so it's two o'clock well three o'clock so i got a lot of time um i had ordered these little containers for my glitter but they're actually too small so i'm about to order the right size i wish the damn camera would focus i'm actually gonna order the right size but yeah so I just got home. So I gotta tell y'all what church was about. So church was about um church was about the service was called lip service. That was the title of the sermon. And it's basically like you saying one thing, but your heart isn't changed. Like your heart is something else. So like you talking about God, you you tell you talk to God, you come to church. But you, it has your heart transformed to have you spent time with God and have you, do you really seek God for what you need or is he just like, oh, every Sunday I go to church, so I only talk to God on Sunday. Lip service is being like authentic, like inauthentic, like kind of like being inauthentic, but like saying certain things like, oh, admiration, giving admiration to God, but it's really not authentic. It's like inauthentic admiration and stuff but it's not authentic because your heart has not changed um and she basically was saying that you know if you go to god if you get to heaven and god is like i never knew you but then you think you down here putting up memes and doing all this and saying this and that and saying whatever and thinking that that's like you can hide from other people you can hide from people like your family and stuff you can let them you can make them think that you're saved and you did this and that but god knows the real you so what she was saying was is it's time to really have a relationship with god and <clears throat> not just be taught all talk and then she, well, the one thing that stuck stood out to me was you know how you get mad at people because i do this like they don't keep their word. You don't keep your word. You don't keep your word. I don't know. I was. I just told somebody this. Yes, me and Raven was talking. I told her. My mama always say that your word is your bond. So if you can't keep your own word, then that just says a lot about you as a person. But she said, how many times have you said that? To, like just on earth, like this person, I keep their word, and you do it in your regular life. Like if I'm supposed to meet somebody at two o'clock and they not there at two o'clock, it's like why the fuck they not here at two o'clock? They supposed to keep their word. And she basically was saying that, I didn't mean to cuss, but y'all know how be cussing. But she basically said that, are we doing God that way? Are we saying one thing and doing another? Like, are we like, God, I'm going to do better with this and then not doing that thing? Like, it's basically the same thing. It's you not keeping your word. You gave your word to God, but then you don't keep your own word. Like, I, and I never thought about that because I just, I literally just had this conversation with somebody. Like, I keep my word. I keep my word. Everything that I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. If I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If I feel like I don't want to do it, I, I understand now that I can tell them, like, even beforehand, I don't want to do it, but more than like, nine times out of ten, I'm going to do whatever I say I'm going to do. I do not, like, back out of what I say I'm going to do, okay? That's just how I am. I am a big, like, keep your word type person. But when she said that you keep your word to God, I was like, mm, I, don't <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> not really. Um, so basically not, like, 
fluffing God up, not making him be like, don't, don't try to fluff it up for, for more than what it is. If you're not really like actively like seeking God and spending time with God and really want him to change the things. And she was basically saying like, you've gotten so far away from him. And I've been feeling like that. Cause I told y'all, I was kind of so sad. I was like so sad one day and all this and all that. And I was thinking in my head, like Alexis, what did you get so far away from God? Just in general, like, because I had wanted to stop cussing. Like God cannot like transform how you are or who you are if you are not spending time with him and you don't go like to church regularly. Not even say you gotta go to church, but if you don't spend time with him, if you don't introduce him into your life, then how do you, who is your source at the end of the day? I had watched this video about anxiety because I have been having bad anxiety, like just so anxious, just so what, like crazy. And I was watching Elevation Church. I can't think of the guy's name, Stephen something. And he did a sermon. He basically was saying, like, who is your source? So this all ties in together. It's kind of like, you want the best life for yourself. You want the best things for yourself. But who is your source? The thing that you feed the most is the thing that's going to grow. So if I sit here and I don't believe, like, I... I sit here in my misery or think about whatever made me feel anxious or whatever it may be and keep focusing on it. It only feeds it and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But if God is my source, if he's my ultimate source and I, he is the main focus, like I put him in the middle, he is the captain of my ship and everything else around me is going on, I will always win because God is the ultimate source. You get what I'm saying? So who is your source that's really like i don't know how i got into that but it, it kind of breaks down into the same thing because st stuff starts to overwhelm you You start to feel like however you feel you know what you deal with on a daily and then you you start to question like i had got to the point where i was questioning god doing this doing that doing this and it's like you ain't even spending time with god lex and you know i know god is real because he has worked in my life he has done things in my life that i know it had to be god himself you know what i'm saying but if you get so far away from that and you forget about that, it feels like everything is just on your shoulders and you like focusing on the now but not focusing on the eternity and what has already been done. You know, so you got to put yourself in a good mind space and really just really build a relationship with God. We build relationships with men. We build relationships with friends. We focus, We want to talk to our friends every day. We want to talk to our man every day. We'll give our all to a man. But won't build a relationship with the source is what we need. Because this world is not easy and life is not easy. And I'm not telling you that because I have my days. I'd be like, what the fuck and what, you know. But <clears throat> it's not easy. But you just got to make a way. Like, you, God has to be your ultimate source. And then everything else goes into comes into play at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's what the service was about. Stop saying stuff. And you stop saying certain things stop not no stop saying certain things to God but we're gonna end it at let your word be your bond and you say something let it be what you mean even when it goes to God God I want you to do this for me I want you to do this for me and don't just go to God in your time of need you should want you should seek him out throughout your whole life like all the time not just because I know when I get down or get say I'm like Lord help me help me Jesus I'm so sorry God or whatever the case may be and we want to use God when we want to use him. And then when life is good and that season is up, then we back regular. That's what she was saying. And that's the truth. You know, you be back regular. You don't be thinking about God. You be living your best life. You don't be, then soon something go back down again. Or you lose your job or this happened. You ain't got no money. You, oh, Jesus, Jesus. No, that's not how it works. You have to have a, a continuous relationship with God. Think about it as a relationship with a man or your husband it, or whoever. It's continuous. It does not end. It is continuous and you have to put into that relationship to get to be better in it, to get to know God and to know what you're supposed to do. Alright, so I'm about to chill for a minute and I will talk to y'all in a minute. Yeah, they got an old lady gang at Camp Creek. Damn. I want some old lady game, bro. We about to go to Juicy Crab, though. But I really want some old lady game. Name <laughs> name Lex Love. Make the thing pop. You know. Hey. 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 But I can't talk. I make the thing work. Hey. 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 This is the remix. I made the remix and this is it. 
You stupid. Rhea in Detroit, y'all. She out in Detroit living her best life. I'm in Detroit. I'm in Detroit. I love my business like this. She ready to go to sleep because she just got there today. I'm sitting here with Kimmy K. I'm sitting here with Kimmy K. Get y'all cake for 2019. I will be posting it down below. And don't play because she do be booked. Period. Yeah, be with a T. She already booked to March. Right now. Booked with a T. With a T. Period. Y'all <laughs> baby shower. You think you might have a baby. Go on, get your cake. Hold on, you hear me read. If you think you might have a baby, you might as well get your cake. If you get if you think you might be pregnant, get your cake order in. Cause we not finna play with you. Exactly. Period. Month, gone, gone. If your period ain't came in two months, you know you bring it. Go on and get your cake order in. Cause it's gonna be get filled up. I'll tell you that now. Alright, y'all, yeah, we had just a prayer. Yeah. No, I'll get left. This guy done got caught. His friends done left him up in here. And he don't have no money. He said, well, I pay. He said, well, I pay for myself. He said, well, I pay for myself. He said, I pay for myself. Tell y'all the story what went down. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Okay, you can just say hey. Hey, Mo. I missed y'all. Let's be trying to front my show when we talk to y'all. Bitch, I'm here. What up, those hoes? She ain't saying nothing. Tell me, so I, I, I don't want to talk. What you got to say to us right now? Because you've been, you been wanting to talk to them for three days. So what's going on? I missed y'all. Like, I think that you guys are amazing people. My name is Tyler C. Uh, exactly. And it's no E at the end. She Why do people spell Charnel like that? She is blind. Yes. Look at him. What about him? What about him? What about him? What about him? Subscriber, he might 800. Touch your nails, touch my ass. Oh, bro. Please. Yeah, so we are just a crab. I got crab legs, shrimp. Y'all can't really see. Crab legs, shrimp, corn, potatoes, sausage. <laughs> And what else coming here? Oh, it come with egg in here too, like a boiled egg. Let me taste that. We about to fuck this up. It that? come, I'm about to say, yeah, because it got like three in here, don't it? And I got my beer ball. And I'm ready to fuck my food up. What up, love? I ain't ate all day. They got their beer ball too. It's <laughs> just hungry. You cheese it. And I want another Coke. She didn't even ask me. I'm about to go over Chardonnay 3 in house, Brie. Get my ass in the car because I don't know what the hell I'm around. I don't want nobody trying to run up on me. Uh, take my camera. I'm just gonna follow Chanel. That food was good. I'm cold. They was about to close though, so I feel like we kind of we ain't rushed to eat, but I feel like I ain't want to rush at all. You know, you know how that go. I don't like going nowhere when they about to close. They closed at 10 o'clock. I thought they closed like at 11 on Sunday. Oh, it's chilly, bitch. Yeah, look at these coasters. Ain't they cute? Don't fuck up the table, please. Ain't they cute? They're so cute. I'm about to get ready to go home. My stomach hurt. 
My bug falling off. It's crooked. This sound like Cardi to the stage. This sound like Cardi with the friends.